Assalamualaikum and greetings everyone. In this video, we will discuss on consensus leadership in project management. Our presenters are Sofia, Humaira, Ali, Faris, Firdaus, and Ayri. Contents. Firstly, we will go through introduction, followed by definition, stages, benefits, conditions, challenges, conclusions, and reference. So, what is leadership? Leadership is the art of motivating a group of people to act toward achieving a common goal. In a business setting, this can mean directing workers and colleagues with a strategy to meet the company's needs. Leadership style is one of the potential success factors for project managers. It is a soft skill which is often neglected in training because it is very hard to measure a person's leadership style in a training situation. By understanding leadership styles and their impact, a project manager can become a great project leader. Therefore, the project manager must determine the most appropriate leadership style for each project team. In this video, we will be focusing on consensus leadership in project management. The definition will be explained by our next presenter, Ali. Thank you, Airi. Hello, my name is Muhammad Ali Mahdali. Let's go through the definition of consensus leadership style. Consensus leadership is a decision-making style for project managers. Leadership styles can be divided into three categories. These categories are decision-making styles, activity management styles, and personal authority styles. Consensus leadership is under the category of decision-making styles. Consensus decision-making ensures that all input and ideas from a group or team are considered until a final decision that is acceptable to all emerge. Agreed solutions are often innovative and creative, and more likely to be successful as everyone has helped to shape the outcome. The project manager is no longer solely responsible for the decision and its consequences. This approach relies heavily on respectful dialogue and open-mindedness but may become time-consuming with larger groups or difficult decisions. In year 2006, Dressler stated that consensus is a cooperative process in which all group members develop and agree to support a decision in the best interests of the whole. In consensus, the input of every participant is carefully considered and there is a good faith effort to address all legitimate concerns. While in year 2000, Arietta and Wallace defined consensus as, quote, a journey and a destination. As a process, consensus is the means by which groups can productively resolve issues, make choices, or develop strategies. As a product, consensus represents a resolution in which a decision that satisfies all participants. Next is the stage of consensus decision making, which will be presented by Fidaus. Thank you, Ali. Hello, I am Muhammad Firdaus Ben Shamsuri. Let's look at the stage of consensus decision making. There are six stages of consensus decision making. The first step is to introduce the issue. Start the meeting by explaining what the issue is and what decision is required. Second step is to explore the issue. At this stage, gather all input and ideas without delving into one suggestion in detail. Ask for some initial feedback to kickstart the conversation and use techniques such as brainstorms to drive this discussion. The next step is to identify common proposals. Summarize the discussion so far, highlighting any areas of agreement and disagreement. Then, start building a solution from point of agreement. Fourth step is discuss and define the proposal. 
check if the team have any concern about the proposal and work through potential solution. Depending on the scope and complexity of the decision, the team may need a few days to consider the proposal before providing feedback. Step 5. Test for agreement. Make sure that everyone understands the proposal and check for any objection or reservation. Ideally, potential issues should have been identified and addressed early in the process. Last but not least, step 6. Implement the decision. Once the proposal is agreed, assign tasks and deadline to complete the work. Those are the 6 stages of consensus decision making. Now, what are the benefits of consensus decision making? Umaira will expand on this point. Thanks, Virdaus. Assalamualaikum. Hello, everyone. I am Nur Afifa Umaira binti Azrul Hazad. What are the benefits of consensus decision making? Let's see. There are many benefits of consensus decision making. These benefits include first, Inclusive participation engage and empowers the group. Second, requires a commitment to work together and increases cooperation. Third, create a shared understanding through discussion that bridge differences. Fourth, equalize the distribution of power in a group. Fifth, can create better decisions that are more representative of the larger community. Sixth, create more ownership and commitment last but not least result in more effective implementation because the entire group takes action on the project or plan those are the benefits of consensus decision making there are also conditions for using consensus decision making which will be explained by sofia thank you humaira Assalamualaikum, greetings and salutation. My name is Sofia Uzaifi Femit Yusuf and I will explain the condition for consensus decision making. Certain conditions are needed for consensus decision making. These conditions consist of common goal, commitment to reach consensus, active listening, trust and openness, clear process, participation, and a good facilitation. For the common goal, everyone needs to share a common goal and commit to achieving the desired outcome. Invest time in defining this shared goal to avoid conflict later on. Next is commitment to reach consensus. Each individual needs to share their opinion, listen, and remain open to new ideas direction. Whilst value is placed on individual's ideas, the overall success of the group is the more important. Then, active listening. Listen to the opinions of others carefully and without interruption. Trust and openness means the group must trust that no one will manipulate the process for their own agenda. Creating a team environment based on companionship, collaboration, respectful discussion, and proactive attitude is critical. Clear process will establish and follow common guidelines. Besides, for the participation, the process will only work if those involved are engaged, share their opinions, and work together to find a solution. Last but not least, good facilitation. This will depend on the size of the group. You may wish to appoint a facilitator to run the meeting. Those are the certain conditions for consensus decision making. Even though consensus decision making is a great style of leadership for project managers, it has its challenges. These challenges will be explained by Faris. Thank you, Sophia. Hello, my name is Ahmad Faris Amabi Azhar. Let's look at the challenge of the consensus decision making. The first challenge is the conflict with the team agenda. The team can develop an agenda that is the odd with the organization goal. Agenda conflict are the most common when the central goal is weak and not well communicated. 
The next challenge is hierarchy issues. Problem affecting consensus decision making occur when a strong formal and informal hierarchies are in effect during decision making. Hierarchies create a scenario in which a person or person have a more power and control than others. Management style issues is also a challenge. Many leadership styles are not conductive for consensus decision making. For example, the autocratic leaders where the followers are not incented to make a decision will not seek for the consensus before making a decision. Consensus decision making not all does not fit at all type of decision. Decision that required hard and unpopular decision are likely to make be using consensus due to the polarizing impact of the decision. Other than that, consensus decision are often slower than leader directed decision. The more power, the power of the consensus is the diversity of the input, not the speed of decision. Last but not least, missing the prerequisite. If the prerequisite are not made, decision paralyzing can occur. For example, without trust or the willingness to reach the consensus, it will be a very difficult to the team members to actually come to the consensus decision. Often time, when a team a missing prerequisite and individually will or click will decide for the entire team. In conclusion, consensus decision making is a powerful tool, but it is not a tool for all occasions. Team structure or the type of decision that needs to be made will often shape the decision making process needed. As with most things in life, there is no one size fits all answer. That's all from us. Have a great day. Thank you.